Coronary disease is the nation's number one killer. Sometimes you have it, you don't know you have it. You may have no symptoms. In the past, uh, medicine has been a little late into the game. We treat you when you come in with a heart attack or threatening to have a heart attack. Well, if you have risk factors for coronary disease, for instance, you have high blood pressure, or you're a smoker, or have high cholesterol, or family members with heart disease, if you get a calcium score, it can show you whether you're at risk for one of these cardiovascular problems, a stroke or a heart attack. And therefore, you know about it and become uh, proactive in terms of preventing problems that could occur in the future. The calcium score test is a simple radiographic test similar to an x-ray, where we come in and image the heart in a sophisticated CAT scan and see how much calcium is present in the heart arteries. And that is a nice snapshot to see what our risk for cardiovascular disease is in the future. Now, when your calcium score is high, it doesn't necessarily mean that you've got blocked arteries, but it portends or predicts that you're more than likely gonna have arteriosclerotic coronary disease and possibly a area, at least one or two areas of significant narrowing in the heart arteries. It's not a situation where you look at that and say, oh, I'm doomed, I'm gonna die young like my dad. No, actually, this tells us that we need to get on the ball and start doing things so that we don't have happen what happened to one of your family members. We can prevent that. But we also may have a situation where we find that, particularly in patients that have mildly elevated cholesterol, if the calcium score is very, very low, then let's just take care of it with diet. We don't need the more aggressive lowering with the medications. If you're a 1%, 2% milk drinker switching to skim milk, you're eating a lot of cheese, and your cholesterol numbers are high, some simple modifications in the diet may make a difference. Or if we find that your uh, calcification of the arteries is very, very minimal, maybe just continue what, what you've been doing, exercise and watching your diet would be enough. It really gears and directs you in the right way as a physician and as a patient and as a, any kind of healthcare provider to know exactly where we need to go to modify your risk factors of coronary disease.